Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Daly. Since you're watching this video, you or a loved one may be suffering from a balance disorder, which is a horrible condition that strikes millions of Americans each year. Balance disorders can be defined as a fear of falling, dizziness or vertigo, disequilibrium, wall or furniture walking, lightheadedness, room or head spinning, or stumbling. Before we get started, do you ever find yourself asking any or all of these questions? Like, why do I have a balance disorder? Why doesn't it simply go away? Why can't I be like normal people? How bad can this balance disorder get? Will I eventually be confined to a wheelchair or my bed? Will I ever be able to live the, the life I used to live? You see, if any one of these problems or concerns is affecting the quality of your life, then you need to finish listening to this and watching this DVD. Why do I say this? Because you may just discover how to get on a path where your pain and suffering or your dizziness and suffering can be relieved once and for all, quickly, naturally, and affordably. See, nothing is worse than feeling great mentally, wanting to take in all that life has to offer, only to have your natural enthusiasm and drive be squashed because your balance disorder just won't go away. Now, isn't it sad to feel so alive and full of vigor and not be able to do all the things you want because your balance disorder is so pervasive, so intruding, so unfair? Well, don't you feel downright angry because this problem or these symptoms just won't go away? Now, if you do, it's only normal. After all, who wants to be burdened with carrying a load of discomfort and, well, living life through the all-encompassing fog of a balance disorder? A balance disorder that's always there when you stand up, sit down, lie down, bend over, turn over in bed. Well, a balance disorder that's always rearing its head no matter how hard you try to ignore it. It's natural for people to try to tough it out and get on with their lives. You might think if I ignore it long enough it'll go away. Unfortunately, this isn't the case. Ignoring your balance disorder will only make it worse over time. And really what was only or what what was once only a mild balance disorder maybe a month ago can become a chronic or crippling balance disorder years down the road. See, the bad thing about any balance disorder is that it sneaks up on you. The real cause, your, uh, excuse me, the real cause of what you're feeling right now may have happened years ago. It may have been such a small injury or incident you may not have even noticed it. Or maybe you felt a slight lightheadedness but it went away after a day or a week so you didn't think anything of it slowly over the years as you continue to do your normal activities the problem has secretly slowly gotten worse and worse without you being aware of it and after time the straws slowly build up and one day well they break the camel's back maybe what finally put you over the edge was that heavy chair you tried to lift or the time you bent over too quickly or got up from a chair too quickly or any one of a hundred things we hear day in and day out whatever it was the fact is you're suffering from a balance disorder and you may not have to suffer any longer now let me tell you why going to your doctor which probably most of you watching this DVD or visiting this website have already done Going to your doctor is a good idea to rule out any pathological cause of your balance disorder that might be caused by a tumor or stroke. But when your balance disorder is not caused by a pathology and you're not responding to medications or exercise, it's really time to look elsewhere. Let me warn you, chronic, long-lasting balance disorders, lightheadedness, disequilibrium and dizziness or vertigo, or BPPV is often mistreated and potentially a disabling disorder that affects the lives of millions of Americans each year. You're really not alone. That's the bad news. The good news is that you may not have to continue suffering. 
as you listen to this DVD, you'll find out some things that I think will, will give you hope. Now, most doctors will treat your balance disorder with medications or exercises, and if those treatments don't work, they'll probably tell you, well, you'll need to learn to live with it. You see, your medical doctor may have diagnosed your condition as an inner ear problem, which it very well could be. However, a large cause of dizziness, or a large number of people, have dizziness due to a decreased firing in the cerebellum and not simply an inner ear problem. Now the cerebellum is the back part of your brain which controls your balance and movement. When there are decreased impulses in the cerebellum you'll experience a balance disorder. Now please understand the inner ear and the cerebellum are connected by the vestibular branch of the eighth cranial nerve and unless the real cause of your balance disorder, for an example the cerebellum is treated, you'll never get better. You see the reason behind this goes all the way back to your doctor's ability to diagnose the true cause of your balance disorder. If your doctor can't clearly identify what's causing the balance disorder, then the instructions he gives to the physical therapist don't stand a chance of working. It's kind of like trying to bake a cake with a recipe for chocolate chip cookies. It just doesn't work. Now, most medical treatments for balance disorders only focus on removing symptoms, for instance. To give you an example, uh, medications may make you feel better for a short time, but the balance disorder will still be there when the medications wear off. Also, you're left open to the potentially dangerous side effects of the medication. Other treatments like head or eye exercises are ineffective because they stem from misdiagnosis. That is to say, your doctor literally could be treating the, the wrong side of your body. Uh, inner ear surgery is another form of treatment that is suggested, and really it's the most ineffective form of treatment for balance disorders. And to top it off, every time you go under the knife, you need to face the small but potential risk of going under anesthesia or getting an infection. Now listen, you, you may not have to, to live with this any longer. You do have options. You may have been on sleep inducing drugs to keep the balance disorder under control. And really, you may not have to, to get used to feeling like a drunken sailor. You should not have to alter your lifestyle because of your disorder. I want you to enjoy one of the safest, quickest, and most successful treatments of balance disorders up as of today. It's the most advanced, scientifically correct treatment there is. You see, this method doesn't just sweep away the balance disorder, it really treats the real cause of the condition because the source of your balance disorder is being taken away. You'll quickly be out of the woods and possibly permanently. Like any true advanced form of healing, this method works with your body's own natural healing powers. That's right, with some help, your body can take care of itself to put you back to where you were before you were dizzy. Now, isn't that how health care should be delivered in the first place? Again, what we do here in our facility and all across the country is we use a brain-based neurological approach to resolve your dizziness or balance disorders. It's safe, it's effective, it's been used with success all across the country by a number of my colleagues and friends. Now I want you to listen to what some of our patients have to say about this form of treatment and then we'll close up the DVD. Thank you. Take a minute, scroll down the page, and view some of the patient testimonials.